Hi guys, welcome to Family Create. I hope you're all doing well. This is the second part of the Huawei Watch 4 Pro extensive walkthrough and review. I'll leave the link to part 1 in the description box for those of you who haven't watched part 1 yet. Please do check it out. This video is a very detailed walkthrough and review, so we hope you find it helpful and informative. So let's start from where we left off in part 1. Now in terms of apps, so let's quickly go through applications. So what applications does the watch come with? Um, again, there's quite a few applications it comes with. Uh, so for example, let's quickly go through them. Workout. So you know, you've got all your different workouts here. You've got strength, um, heel to exercise. You've got, you can plan courses, running courses, and you can configure uh, courses. I haven't bothered setting anything up, um, but yeah, you can sort of set your own course up it will remind you and it'll kind of prompt you and stuff like that you can there's an option for ai running plan so as you can see here i haven't tried this really so you've got outdoor walk you can go outdoor walk i'll show this later you've got other stuff and you can workout setting which i think we've already showed before and then you've got workout status workout record sorry so you've got workout records you can see any workouts you've done, how you did, and I can go into one of those and you can see how many calories you burned and how your heart rate was and what zones you are at uh, during the exercise, so extreme and all that various different zones you can see here. And everything, to be honest, in terms of the screen as well, all the information we see here is so nice and clear to be honest, in, you know, to read. No matter how small some of the texts are, they're very readable and the color really pops out it's, and this the screen quality you know the blacks are so deep black and all the other colors like the, the red yellow orange whatever colors there they really pop out because it's the high quality of the screen i mean just look at that again you know you've got all of that it's just there's so much so much stuff here in terms of health going back to actually let me set this up again 20 minutes expired coming back to applications i was showing so you've got workout status I'm not going to go through all of them, otherwise it'll be, I'll be here all day and night talking through because there's a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, some of this stuff, they're great for someone who really is into their health. I mean, I like basic health tracking, but not, not that extensive, not that detailed. So things like training load and VO2 max, um, stuff like recovery. I, I, I haven't really, I don't know, I haven't really used this stuff so much. Activity record is quite good because it's got this really nice full screen it takes up and I, I believe this is a new one they've introduced for this watch. So you've got the three rings here, red, yellow and blue. So the red one is move, how many times you've moved and it prompts you during the day to move if you haven't moved. Exercise in yellow and then blue, stand. So I think you can set how many hours in a day you should stand and it gives you recommendations of how many hours you should stand based on world health uh, recommendations. So today, obviously I haven't been using this watch in the last few days. So this was when the last it was used. But you get all this information here, it's really nice. And you also not only got that, and then you've got given a sort of breakdown here, and then you also get in it details of steps you've taken. I don't think you can tap any of them, but you've got that. And then you've got this really nice graph. Again, you can't do anything with it, but still. And then you can tap on this to read more about it, what, what it actually means, what it recommends, as you can see. Uh, but again, yeah, exercise, if there was any, you'd really have nice crafts here, it's stand. And you can set goals, move, exercise, all that. You can change it for, to whatever that suits. Reminders, reminder to stand and progress. And if you reached your goal, it's really nice the way it shows you those information and about, tells you something about activity records. So I, I have to say this, you know, the, in terms of the health features, this particular thing, rings and activity stuff, is really really good phone we've covered uh, showed earlier so here you've got call logs or any calls you've made or any missed calls you've had so you've got a keypad and you can dial it doesn't sort of recognize if you have any number that you're typing away so you have to know the number but you can always go to the your contacts um, list here and you can bring up um, or dial any contacts that you want you have on your watch this is obviously seen from my phone whatever I have here and here's the contacts app again messaging app so you know you if you have one, your sim enabled you can sort of um, get the messages here and you can reply to the message um, as well on the watch yeah, if you're connected to eSIM you can reply whether you have your phone with you or not no need for a phone 
and you can even call um, as well so this is, I really like that this is good in terms of the app gallery uh, actually I come to app, app gallery I mean let's just finish off the rest of the apps here so you've got a music app um, which is Huawei's built-in music app and I think it's quite useful actually play something let's see you can download it's channels that are, you know you search through always a music app so I think I'll show you how that works I mean this is good quality I have to say And you can control the volume through the crown, which is really nice. I have to say the music quality here is very good on the, for a watch. Anyway, you can like it. Let's just have the next bit. Okay. I think you get an idea. So then you go, um, these are different choices. To be honest, I haven't really, there's different countries here, but I haven't really played with this much. But um, I know I did search radio stations and you've got, so different types of genres. So easy listening, you got all this commuting, walking, and there's, and there's lots of, it gives you, 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 under each of these, there's plenty of options. So if I went to, for example, R&B or something, so it's just pick something. This is this is like a radio, so it's playing off the radio. So there's lo there's plenty of choices um, if you if you want to. You've got. So you can see I can I can listen and I can go back and do other searches and I can I think I can even exit from the music app and it's still playing in the back. And now, if I wanted to sort of uh, control what's happening. You see here on on on, the, on on your as you swipe, it's there on the home screen. Let's change the volume down. So you can control. You don't get to see the album or anything, but you know this is on your home screen. You can control it. So basically, you can do that, and you can I don't know what that is. Let's see on this device or if you have Bluetooth uh, earbuds. You can change it to play there, okay? So, and if I can go back there now again with the tap, and I can go back to my list again, and I can find other music um, that I may want pop and new age and metal and dance. All these, you got so many choices. There, look, and this is like a radio, so you know, you uh, also requires internet connection. They got Wi Fi connection on it or Bluetooth connected to your device, or even if you have sort of uh, data on the SIM. You can on the move just listen to this. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just favoritize them, and you can even import your own songs. I have some song, for example, on my phone. I downloaded, so I'll try and show you one of those. Um, so I imported some songs. Quite easy to import, really. You just do it through the Huawei app, and it's instantly on the watch. So I just have to allow it for some reason again. I already had allowed it. So I just play one and show you. I like it. So you see, very simple. Uh, you can download. It's got 32 gigabyte um, of built-in storage, guys. 32 gigabytes. So that's plenty of space for many, many MP3s you want to put in, in this watch. Talking of this, I should also mention, I didn't mention earlier on, it's got 2 gigs of RAM. So no wonder everything is so smooth. 32 gigabyte uh, of ROM, as in storage. So plenty for watch faces and apps and songs. Great. So uh, yeah, and then you got settings and you can decide how you wanna use, you know, there's, there's various options, you can create playlists and you can do all that on the watch. You don't need to do this on the phone. So this is all really, really good.
So again, on the home screen, you got your weather. These, these are the cards, and you've, you've always got that there. And the other thing is, I maybe I can try and show you. Actually, let's go back to app. So this was music, health glance. So let's quickly do a health glance. I think I may have to put the watch on my wrist to do a health glance. Let me see if it allows me. We've done a video on health glance, so uh, let's see. Let's see if it does. Let's see if I just I'm covering the sensor with my finger, so let's see what it does. So that's, that was the first step. I'll continue and you'll do the next step. So it's taking me, asking me to take deep breath. So. So it's nothing, you know, abnormalities detected. Five tests, three successful. Obviously, because it's not on my wrist, you didn't really check everything properly. But then you get a breakdown of heart rate, SPO, stress, skin temperature. As you can see, it's got an error for the respiratory check um, because obviously it's not on my watch. Uh, sorry, the watch is not on my wrist. But just wanted to show you this particular health glance doesn't let you do ECG here but ECG is there I'll show you separately so that was the one minute health glance another nice feature this is a king for health features this watch heart rate so you've seen this before really nice graphs of heart rate and this tr continuous tracking here's the ECG we've done a video on ECG so um, you know you lay your finger here Poor signal because the watch isn't on my hand. So, but you get the you get the idea. You you can do an ECG. This watch supports ECG, and it's like most watches. You have to put your finger on one of the. But you, this one here, SPO. I won't bother. Uh, but yeah, you got the SPO here. You can measure. We done another video on comprehensive health sensor tests. Um, we're comparing with a few other watches, so you can watch that one. It will have it on the link in the description. And arterial stiffness detection. So if you have any issues it will sort of alert you which is really really good i haven't really tried this skin temperature which you, again we've got we cut this in another video my watch is not on my wrist so it's not gonna show me and it's, it's giving me this warning watch is getting a bit warm because as you can imagine i've had the 20 minute screen run continuously now for a while um so sleep tracking i mean there's no record because i haven't really won the sleep won the watch to sleep with for the like, last few nights but i have to say uh, you know from from when i did test it i found Accuracy uh, was really, really good. Um, I wish I could show, uh, maybe out on the app, and maybe I would show on the previous ones. But on the watch, I think it only sort of shows you the current, most recent one, like the one you've done, like last night or something. So it doesn't show you anything back from a week or so. So we can have a look at the watch, but I think not only the information is presented here, it's nice and good to look at. Maybe something you can cover um, later in the video. Health clovers, so this one sort of... Um, tells you it has a number of health tasks that the watch expects you to complete Huawei's health has a set I think there's about seven and it sort of reminds you if you're completing them and I think those, those bubbles they change sizes based on you know which one you've done more of and not so yeah I think I can cover a bit more of that when we come to the Huawei health app stress same as um, the other ones again very nice in terms of the graphic here uh, and it's got a breakdown of stress levels at Again, very readable and it gives you a score and it tells you about it. Breathing exercise. So yeah, this is the health thing. You can do a breathing exercise for one minute and I think you can change that to, yeah, up to three minutes. So I'll leave you on one minute. And I don't know how many breaths you take per minute. So I'll leave you on seven like you was there before. And you tap on it and it sort of will guide you. So. It's got a nice haptic as it sort of exhales it doesn't but when it inhales it's got this nice haptic so again part of this good range of health features it's nice to have weather um so yeah you've got the weather up here which is quite really nice beautifully done um, i really like it gives you plenty of information really nice like sunset and wind but it's just how dynamic it is i really like it huawei wallet so this is one of the Saddest part for me is you can't use NFC payments because you can't add anything to Huawei wallet. Now, I actually tried changing um, the watch's 
location like that. so on the Huawei app I changed my region to China to see if I can get an get to add a, add a card in Huawei's health app now you don't get anything really you can only put a um, loyalty card really and there is no option to add any other card um, and I, we've done a video showing this so I'm not going to go too much into this now but you can you can only add loyalty cards and you can't add anything else you can't add any bank cards you can't add any curve um, cards as well so no NFC payments happening here but unless something happens over future updates but as of now nothing so yeah I was, I was extensively playing around and I'll show you some other stuff I did to try desperately to try and get see if I can get a card to show up so Huawei health wallet sorry it's useless no good alarm usual stuff you can set alarm a timer yeah, I showed I think earlier you can you can select timers you can customize how many minutes how many hours whatever really nice actually let's try one so you can see it's counting down I don't know if you can pick up this but it's ticking away very faint tick as it's counting down nice may annoy some people but to be honest it's very faint it doesn't really bother me so that's the time up stopwatch nice and bright again and it's doing the same can you hear the sound really nice like a real watch beautiful torch I've shown earlier compass so it's got a compass as well this one oh, so I have to do all this now to calibrate there you go so yeah it's, it's a really nice compass really to be honest it's beautiful there's not much you can do with it as far as I know there's no other options but it's good it's a really nice beautiful looking compass look at it we have a barometer so yeah I don't really I don't really use this stuff air pressure and all that um, yeah for, for those who need it it's all there notepad now notepad is a voice voice note really so you just start recording a voice and you can't really write anything hi this is a test Yeah, it's there. You can hear it, but it's, yeah, I don't really need this. Petal maps. Uh, this is something I'm going to test outside, but show you what it looks like. This is Huawei's version of Google Maps, really. They don't have Google Maps in this watch, so it's their own version. And what you get, I think it's quite okay. Uh, so you can search, and it gives you some options here. You can search, like, you know, places like, as you can see here, look, buses or trains or coffee shops. Um, and then you can metros and whatever malls so if I go to say you know, coffee shop in London so it's found something and then what it does is it gives you up two options walk it or cycle it there is an option to drive there like on Google Maps so if I said cycle it give me two different routes here um, options of one minute and then yeah it tells you how long it's going to take to cycle there so yeah you get a map and you can also use the crown here to zoom in and out oh, I like that really it's really, really nice so then it's quite instant there's no lag in your zooming in and out you've got that you can start and if I tap on this little thing here what does it do let's see I think so if I say start so it gives you yeah so it's giving you giving me now a turn by turn direction so you know where i go where i turn and it's really good and you can use your fingers to sort of you know move around the map you can also get written directions as well so it only shows you the next turning uh, and it tells you where they are so that's like uh, the map petal map um, it doesn't have many features from what i can see direction on the phone this map feature it doesn't require your phone so you can actually and to be honest use it totally uh, independent of the phone you can just have the watch Provided you have data connections, um, like if you have a eSIM with data connection, you can actually go and do navigation. Or if you wanted to have the direction set on your phone, you'll do that. If I go to navigation settings, you got navigation prompts and language. So default English and you call these other languages. Dark mode, um, check for updates, privacy, feedback. So this is basically the petal map. So there isn't a huge amount of options. Uh, you can you can tap on those and you'll find you I guess local metros train stations okay 
settings we've already covered before quite extensively and the rest of the apps here are apps I have downloaded what I want to show here now before I cover any of the other apps you may think oh it's called this other apps how so in terms of Huawei's app on the watch I'm going to show you what actually it contains for me it's very disappointing it's it's obviously um, not very well developed there's very few apps there very few useful apps um, whatever there is they're just I couldn't see any use for any of them so you've got that say you've got these three shows here but if it if I tap on more now you've got virtual cards HMS core tap my tasks um, what it's showing now is stuff that I've installed so these are not necessarily from Huawei store like things like my tasks assistant these are not from what Google Play these are me playing around trying to see if I can get other apps to work but in terms of the apps from the Huawei Play Store you get this kind of unit converter um, like there's some navigation apps, the calculator has quite a few GPS navigation again this app for example I have the same app on my Android watch watches, Wear OS watches I use that app quite good on the other watch on this one you know the latest version isn't even on it so that's my another worry it's not only that there isn't that many apps here whatever there is the developers are not always going to update them so I mean this the version on Wear OS which was updated maybe a month ago bought so many improvements like route tracking and track back and other features which I really like this one is still sitting on a very old version um, so kind of pointless so these are stuff that I have installed I think I went to the wrong place um, I wanted to show you what's actually in their app store yeah um, so you've got other stuff like yeah you've got like translator you've got calculator navigation again now showing the voice recorder um, store card they're again like just reward cards really radio tic tac games calculator again what's the song e sound another navigation speedometer mood messaging and then more calculator again radio exercise audio player navigation for for where again i did just run it running maybe a useful app i don't really need it fast notes i think i've already got that i've downloaded that just to see that you can leave a written note um obviously through the keyboard navigation prayer now uh, wi-fi password virtual cards i mean co considering the kind of apps you can get on the play store apple store forget it, it's on a different league to be honest these are very very basic even this tick tick up for what it, what you do with it I'll sh i think i've covered this in another video you literally does nothing there's quite a few currency apps uh, again these are really basic stuff uh, to be honest i'm just going through scrolling through the whole list i've downloaded a few just to test how they were maybe i can go in and show one now it's not like you can sit here and, and scroll endlessly for hours and hours because there just isn't going to be enough i mean very soon as there's a useful app here uh it will come to an end very soon learning arabic learning italian Turkish I mean hardly any of these apps are much of a news I'm gonna continue um, give it another few seconds if anything loads doesn't look like so we've reached the end of the road this is all the apps that you have I mean maybe what two or three useful apps the rest are maybe useful to some people but obviously not to me but in comparison to Wear OS apps it's really not worth it really not who I really needs to invest I, I don't know more resource to develop proper apps for this watch for this platform if they want to sort of continue with this because currently you know it's just it's such a expensive and beautiful watch I mean I would have this watch over any other Android watch, Wear OS watch right now. But there just isn't any apps in there that I want. So for me, it's just not really worth it. So what I did was I sort of set up the process for um, side loading apps. So I side loaded, for example, let me show you quickly. So things like calendar, uh, because one of the biggest downside of this watch for me 
other than the lack of NFC payment and the poor choice of app is it doesn't even have a basic calendar app so it doesn't sync with any of the calendar so I, for example I can't see what appointments I have I can't add a task here it just doesn't have any options it won't sync so I downloaded a calendar app this is this side loaded there is square you can see so if I clicked on this and it loads for example it works up to a certain point so you go and and also I was thinking this watch has a big ice screen maybe it's worth trying because these watch these APK apps are obviously designed for phones not for watch so I thought it's still give it a try anyway caught it so you can see here look this one run because it doesn't have Google Play services even though I've installed Google Play here and Google Play services and this one as well you know it's a task to do list if I for example try this is one of my favorite on Wear OS I, I regularly use it I also use it on my phone um so it, it sort of loads um and then i think it'll crash Let's see as soon as it goes to the place where you add or you're supposed to add a task it crashes that's it curve to use it to add a credit card so i again downloaded this one it sort of starts loads now it crashes so this is it and that happens all the time whatsapp now WhatsApp worked, uh, to be honest, uh, but I didn't really set it up because I didn't want to mess up with or you know losing the the WhatsApp account I have on my phone. But WhatsApp works, um, you know, it, it didn't crash, um, so I, I didn't really proceed much further because I don't, I've already got WhatsApp um, on my other Wear OS watches. Spotify again, it works. I'll show you Spotify. Um, it works fine. Spotify is one of the few apps that didn't crash, and also like uh, you know, it shows you album um, art as well. And when it does load, okay, I don't want all of this. So you can go through your, basically syncs everything because it's based on your account and I was able to sign into my account. So anything I had on my, on my account saved, it show, showed up here. I can play it and it will play on the watch through the speaker and I can control um, using the, the, the home here, for example. So I'm going back to, yeah, so you can see I have another calendar I tried. So this one load task um another task manager or task app to do list it kind of works uh, it's very difficult to add any stuff any any tasks onto it because um so for example i tested i can try and color and i can add a calendar item i can add a task and i do get a notification but they don't sync so uh, it, it won't sync with your phone calendar or if you touch if you add something on your phone calendar it won't sync so it's kind of really pointless and to be honest, the other thing I want to say as well, um, I know some people really um, like the idea of lo side loading apps onto their watch. From what my experience here, and this is the first time I experienced this, I don't see any point of downloading any of those actual smartphone apps onto the watch because they don't display properly. You can change the size settings. I'm going to load another video showing how I side you know done the process for side loading. So if you're interested, and that's sort of another video we we put up. Um, but yeah, just you, you know, they don't really work very well. Um, it's kind of pointless. So you can see, I've tried quite a few things, and I also tried the Huawei Health app, not the not the one that's built into the watch, but actual Huawei wallet. So this one is a bit different. So I, for example, can go here. I can I don't know, I don't know what it's saying there, but I can tap on this. It's saying something, and then you'll give me. Um, you see in a second, I think. Yeah. So I, I've got a bit, a bit more to play. So I've got pay and I've got cards. So if I, and you got home and me, if I tap on me, I think it takes me to a setting screen that you can't really do. It's very slow for some reason now. But in terms of this, I can tap pay. Oh, it's crashed. If I go back in there again. So as you can see, I've tried everything possible to get an app, get, get a card added. So you can you tap pay. I can see it's registered my tap, but nothing happens. If I tap on cards, so yeah, you can see here, obviously the crown one work. You can see, for example, loyalty cards um, and these coupons and gift cards. You, you, nothing happens if I tap on any of them. Nothing happens, I've tried so many times. This one, loyalty card is the one I've added uh, as a test uh, that you saw on my other thing. But that's really, you, you can't really do anything with it. If I go back to here now, so you can see Huawei points, um, settings, nothing really happens. Check for updates. It'll just tell me I've got the latest version, I think. Yeah, your version is up to date. But this is it. That's that's all. Assistant. So I tried Google Assistant. Try what, see what happens.
it doesn't work so whole assistant doesn't work and this is another calendar you know, it just won't work so this is it this is me with the full apps you know several i tried there are a few others um i tried and i mean the other thing is if i wanted to sort of um uninstall one so say for example the assistant didn't work i can hold on and i can tap uninstall and it should uninstall There you go, it's gone. So it's quite easy to uninstall um, app uh, even if you do install them through the side loading uh, method. But that's it really. So anyway, we'll continue with the, with the review. This is the end of part two. Part three is coming soon. So please do subscribe and put a notification bell on for that. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please do give it a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.